Seeing the commutative property, of course, this would be of multiplication. If by chance we saw a division between these two, we would say that you can't do that or DNE does not exist, whatever, and that specify that. Okay, but on this one, since we're looking at rewriting this with the commutative property, I'm just going to show this with equals. But remember, and I'm going to show the multiplication, by the way, but the first number, at least if you have two, the, commut the commutative property will move the number's position. So whereas 87 is first, in its commutative movement, it would be second. And where the 4 was the second number, then it would be the first of the two factors right here. Okay, So this is, this is having shown the commutative property right here. 4 times 87 would be 87 times 4 after using the commutative property of multiplication. Remember, you don't actually have to multiply this problem. You just need to show the commutative property. That's all. Oh, here we go. This one is using now the associative property. Uh, and so uh, on this one, remember with the associative property that the number's order is not going to change. So we've got 98, 13, and 4. In fact, the operation won't change. And I'm deliberately doing this. I know some of you guys know the answer already. But with the associative property, what would happen is you'd move the parentheses. So where the parentheses were around the 13 and 4, I've now moved them around the 98 and 13. The problem with what I've done so far and just from the beginning is that what operation were we using? It was division, right? And even if you changed it, it was division. But you can't use the associative property with division, so I'm just going to put DNE. Can't do it on this one. So even everything that I had written right there was obsolete because you just can't do it with division. That's all.